Hi scrubs, hope you're well. So we're back with horse riding teals and I've got a rare here that I want to try and capture. I've been working on the dressage a little bit. Finding it tough enough, actually. But I think we just need to do one more dressage. And I think we should complete the quest. Okay. Managed to successfully capture that rare. Let's sell that. So we're going to need the gold to enter competitions. Okay, there's another regular horse over there. We'll get that one while we're at it. So, we just need, I think we have enough gold, but there's no harm having a little bit extra because the competitions are getting kind of expensive to enter at the moment. All right, there we go. Sell that one off. Okay, so let's just go and check on Lavender. So I've leveled Lavender up now a little bit more. She's got 515 stamina. We've already done washing and she's got her horseshoes on and her bedding is clean so I'm gonna go ahead to our quest book here okay so we've got to continue doing this I've got one star so far I might need to do this another two times I think because I don't think one of this is fully um, I need to do that one again I thought I had got a star in this one but maybe I didn't so we'll have to try this again okay let's start this right now to trot need to try and keep it in the, the target. It's really, really hard to keep it in the target, but it's definitely helping that she has more stamina than my other horses. Okay, we need to do the passage. That's quite, I like the animation to that, it's quite cool. It's really hard because you can't really look at the horse, you have to kind of focus on the, on the target with the dart. It's pretty tough to do this. Right now we've just got a trot. I can't even maintain this. I can't see me ever getting three stars with this. That's super difficult. I just can't me like if I can get a star, I'm doing well to be completely honest with this. Okay, so we got 450. Sorry, 65. Okay, so we've got our star, that's what we needed. Okay, good. And we got uh, 76 apples, which might help level lavender up a little bit, so we'll go in here. And see if that might help a wee bit. I think she's probably going to need more apples than what we've got to level her up. It seems to be quite expensive now. So we're just going to quickly give her these apples. Alright, so we're under the 100 mark. We might actually be lucky. She might actually go to level 65. I think we might be okay, actually. So I can't capture a fantasy horse just yet. But as soon as we can, I think we should definitely work on leveling that up. Okay, so we got to level 65 with her. Still have some apple left, so we're just going to keep those for now, because those 39 apples are not enough to level her up right now. Okay, so we're going to put her rug on her, because she's going to need to regain her stamina, and this pink blanket will help her do that a little bit faster. So it's going to take a little while for her to regain that now. I'm just going to check into our book here. So we have to do the last one, and hopefully we might just get that last star. Um, the daily quests at the moment, I haven't been able to do these because at the minute I can't seem to get three stars in the Quicksilver ones. Sometimes I'm really lucky and I do get three stars and sometimes I don't. So I haven't really been worrying about this because I want to wait until I get um, some better tack items here from the crafting area. So I'm hoping that once I get to player level 19 that we can unlock this stuff which has better event power on these items and then we can craft those and then go back and do those competitions and get those better ones. After that we'll have to wait to level 22 so it's these uh, these red tack items and then the uh, black and white saddles and the black saddle. Those are the ones I'll probably make once we unlock level 19. Um, a couple of you guys have been asking me how to level up in this game. It's simply about completing these main quests, the progress quests. These are how you get the XP for your level um, and if you find that you're struggling to do that, the best way literally is to mine and mine the resources that you, you know, from all these different locations and once you have mined plenty of resources like wood, iron, cotton, stone, opal or amber for example, once you've mined these resources then you can use those to make orbs. Once you make orbs, then you can use those orbs to capture horses. And obviously, as we saw a minute ago, I don't know if there's a better horse than another. There isn't really. We'll just capture this one. Um, obviously, once you're capturing horses, that's going to make you gold when you sell these horses. And then once you enter the competitions with the gold that you've got, 
then you can win apples and level your horses up, which then helps you do harder and more difficult competitions, which are usually what unlock quests. Sometimes you're asked to craft items to unlock the next step in the quest, but no, normally, most of the time, it is actually competitions that you're asked to do. Right, we're going to go ca ahead and capture this horse as well. Because at the minute we're going to need that gold, because the dressage competitions are extremely expensive. So I'm kind of hoping that more rare horses would pop up, because at least that would kind of go away to it. Um, it's, I haven't really seen any epics lately. I haven't seen hardly any of them at all. I think we have just about enough to enter the next dressage competition. I'm just going to go quickly check. We're not going to enter it yet, obviously, because Lavender doesn't have her stamina back yet. So let's just check to see how long it's going to take her to get her stamina back. I know. I don't have a saddle on her, so I can't find out. So it's going to cost us 3,400. Do we have that? Let's go check. We do, but we're going to capture this other horse as well. We're going to have to make some more orbs soon. I'm kind of getting low on those. I always like to keep a base amount of certain orbs, like... Epic orbs I like to keep about 5, um, I usually like to keep about 10 or 8 of the rare orbs, and then the common orbs. I like to have at least 10 of those, um, but sometimes I'll craft a lot of them. Right now I'm going to go ahead and craft quite a few actually. I'm going to craft, yeah, 21 would do. We do need to go get some more cotton because I'm kind of, it's not that I'm low on cotton, but I'm lower than I would like to be. The other thing is, you sort of start to learn where the resources typically spawn. Um, like, cotton tends to be over here, and then a little bit further up the hill. Whereas you typically get wood and iron closer to the main stables that you start at. Then the other side of the river, you'll get a mix of resources, uh, but you'll usually find stone and opal on the other side. We're just going to ignore that iron for the moment, because I've got a reasonable amount of iron at the moment. But yeah, no, I've found, I think out of everything, I've found the dressage competitions the most difficult so far. Still horrific at the, the cross country. Um, I haven't really done any of the multiplayer races recently to try and get black pearls, because obviously we're going to need black pearls in the near future. Because I know a couple of you guys were asking about the black pearls and the abandoned pets, and so far that seems to be what the black pearls are partially going to be used for. You can also use them for some purchases as well, like cosmetics and things like that. Um... I do not have, like, any black pearls, I think, at the minute yet, so I'm just going to have to try and collect some if I want to get one of the pets whenever they're finally released, because right now we just have the vet over there who's mentioning it, but they're not out yet. Okay, so let's see if there's any... Okay, there, there's a... That'll be a good one to capture. These are usually worth a little bit more. I hate whenever you get a horse that like takes loads of orbs and then you get the exact same horse later and it takes like two. <laughs> Sometimes it varies a little bit. Okay. That gives us a little bit more money than the base one does, but at the same time it does take more orbs. Okay, we're going to capture you as well. This would just give us a little bit extra money after we've entered that dressage competition. I'm going to go up and talk to the vet as well while we're at it because I sort of want to show you guys what I'm kind of talking about with that. So up here, obviously, um, some of you guys know about the multiplayer races already, so I'll just quickly mention those before we go over to the vet, actually. So with the cross-country races, if I can click on it, I need my horse. Hold on. Let me go get one of my horses. Um, right. Do it. I don't think any of them have saddles on them at the moment. I'm just going to quickly put a saddle on Foxglove. Okay. We're just going to ride Foxglove really quickly. Then Foxglove can... Or I could just run into my stables instead. That would that works too. <laughs> right, okay. So, why can't I click on the cross country? Huh. Oh, wait, there we go. Okay, accident. Right, so, these here, um, obviously we've got silver, rewards... Uh, let's see. Okay, so for these you'll get an outfit reward for certain ranks. Obviously I haven't run this in a really long time. I think the rewards are the same for everyone. Okay, I can't unlock that yet. Let me have a look. Yeah, same outfit. But um, with the multiplayer, this is where, if we go back, so the multiplayer is where you can get these black pearls. So collect black pearls for a big update coming soon. 
Okay, so if you do the multiplayer and you win first prize, then depending on which difficulty you're doing, then you can actually get black pearls as a reward for that. Now, if we just quickly go in here, into the shop, I think it's in here somewhere that I saw some of these. I feel like it was somewhere in here. No, not the chest, maybe the, no, it's not the horses either. I did see a while ago something about black pearls, you know, you could use black pearls for some of these things, but I know for sure, All right, I'm gonna, you can go back in the stable for now. I know for sure it's over here that they're going to be used for this. That's something I'm quite certain of. So you soon be able to adopt an, bond an animal, save up all your black pearls and help me to rescue them. So social crests and multiplayer races are a great way to earn black pearls. So obviously the other way is the social crest. Obviously there's not going to be another social crest for like 43 minutes here. So I might not get to do it. I haven't actually got to do any of the social crests yet. Unfortunately, every time I come on, it's like at a different time. So I always miss it. Uh, but for anybody that is wanting to get the pets, this is the two things you're going to have to focus on. You're going to have to focus on multiplayer races and you're going to have to focus on that as well. I'm so sure that I saw some stuff in the shop that you could get with Black Pearls a while ago, but maybe that was just... I feel like, I don't know, maybe I just imagined that. Right, okay, so Lavender, you need washed again. Just quickly clean her up. Okay. And you need some more bedding. Let's put that down. Okay. Right, so we'll give her a little bit more time to get her energy back, and then we can continue. Okay, so Lavender has got her energy back, so we're just going to put her saddle back on her. And now we're going to get ready to do that competition, and hopefully we can get that one star so that we can progress. Okay, so we've got enough money, so this is the last of the Mosley Shoals event. Right, okay, here goes. Okay, so we got to do a walk to start off with. Right, we want to try and keep this in the target as much as we can. Oh, okay, right, now for the passage. Uh, this is really, really difficult. Just need to keep tapping it to try and get this. Oh. Okay, now we've got to do a trot. Oh, whoa, okay, we went way too far there. Oh, this is super difficult. The jumping is so much easier than this. Okay. Hopefully, that is just that one star. L at least. That's all we need. We need that one star. Please, come on. Yes, okay, so we got it. And we got 66 apples from that as well. I knew you wouldn't let me down, Valdrian. Well done, you. Miss Foxhall, can I ask you something? You can ask, certainly, but I can't promise I'll be able to answer. Are flying horses real? Nathan has told you about the Sky Riders. Hmm, well, who of us can say what is and isn't real? Two weeks ago, I had asked you if epic horses were real. What would you have said? What is fantasy today could have just as easily be reality tomorrow. So, they are real. Only the clouds above us can be sure. Now I've taught you everything you need to know about dressage, I expect you to represent the school in both show jumping and dressage from now on. And to, to do that, you need a well cared for stable. Right, so make horses happy. Okay, this is like this is like a great quest to have because it's not really, really difficult like the jumping was or the, the dressage. The dressage is definitely the hardest thing that we've done. Okay, so we should have enough resources. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and craft a bunch of shoes because we're gonna need those. Okay, we'll go and make these shoes. Hopefully I have enough cotton just gonna make those because it is kind of expensive that's the only thing it is kind of expensive actually no we'll not we'll not uh, use any more of that quickly I'm just gonna check in case there's any rare horses about okay no there isn't okay so we're gonna go ahead and clean these horses we're gonna give them a wash um, with just the five to care with so that's not so bad Okay, you're nearly done, and then I'm just going to give you horseshoes, and that'll make you happy. 
Right, horseshoes. Okay, so that should be that should be the one of them. Let's just double check that that worked unless we do have to give them bedding as well. Okay, no, that worked. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of them. Okay, snowdrop now. I decided to just put rugs on the ones that I'm not necessarily using because what I will find is if you have one really well-trained horse, which is lavender is for me because I haven't really had enough apples yet to train the fire horse, is basically it's very easy to accidentally, whenever you've maybe run out of energy and you forgot, um, to click to do a competition and it just takes the horse that has energy. So if you don't have saddles on them, it won't let you do that. It won't let you accidentally click because I have accidentally entered races and wasted gold with horses that just can't complete the particular course that I'm entering because my, let's say my, my best horse has no stamina at the moment or maybe not fully regained their stamina yet. So that is just something that it's really simple to do and it can make such a difference. Did I give you shoes? No, I did not give you shoes. My mistake, right? It's just a really simple thing, but it can make such a difference uh, and stop you accidentally doing something like that. Right, you, for example, this one, I could end up accidentally clicking on, so what I want to do is just quickly give it one of the blankets. Right, now you need a wash. I think this would be the fourth horse that we've cared for. I think. I'm not 100% sure. Okay. There you go. Right now you need some shoes as well. Okay. Right. So that's four of them. So we'll take care of Blue Rose as well. Okay. You definitely need a good clean. Right. Okay. You're nearly done. Okay. Right. Horseshoes for this one, and then that should validate that quest for us. Perfect. Okay. I'm surprised you have enough hair for your stables, because this is the last straw. What do you think you're doing entering dressage competitions? Representing the school? You might have foxhole wrapped around your fingers, but you don't fool me. Get in the way of me or any of my teammates in any dressage competitions and you're doomed. Are you always this rude? Only to riffraff. I see how it is. <laughs> okay, so Cryer... Craft some higher level accessories, okay. Yes, okay, so we're now level uh, 19, which means we can craft those items that we were talking about earlier. Okay, so craft the tiger print red and tiger, another, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So, okay, in here. So, hopefully, I have enough for these. Um, I just wanna be sure. Oh, wow, some of these are super expensive. Which ones do I have to do for the quest? Okay, so leg wraps and the mask. I have to do three? Really? <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna have to go mining. I don't think we're gonna get to finish that one today, unfortunately, but at least now I can craft those actual items. We'll get started at least on crafting some of them. Okay, so that we can craft. I'm still gonna have to craft the Tiger Print Red Bridle, the mask and then I'm going to craft the, one of these saddles. That's purely so that I can actually do the competitions that I had done before like uh, that Quicksilver event. Now with better event power because I'll have better stats on my horse and obviously have a better chance of actually getting three stars in those competitions and then I can get some apples. Maybe I'll get enough apples to finally level up my fire horse because my poor little fire horse is all the way down here. Fire Lily and I haven't really done anything uh, with them yet sadly so I think it would be nice if I actually did eventually get to do that. It would be kind of nice. But anyway, scrubs, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you've said a little bit. And bye-bye.